Do you have your seatbelts on? Because we're about to have a race here to see if we can get everything in before the, the evening is before over. Before the bell rings. So, who wants to have the internet work for you and drive traffic to you? Rodney, I saw your hand go up first. Here's a copy of our book. Hey, you don't stand out, get out. Thank you for participating tonight. You're welcome. So I assume that, you know, pizza brought some of you out, but I'm assuming you didn't just come here for AWeber's uh, great hospitality here. Uh, I'm assuming some of you would like to learn something about how you can create and use video in your marketing. Is, am I right? Hopefully. Yes? Okay. Um, take lots of notes. We're going to cover a lot of stuff. We're going to move very fast, uh, but try to save questions. We're going to do a little Q&A at the end, but we're... We're going to be on a pretty tight schedule because we could have sat here and lectured to you for two hours, or we could show you a bunch of video. So we'd rather have a lecture. <laughs> okay. No book. All right. no book. So, okay. No, it's his fault. No, no. We're going to show you a lot of video. Is that all right with you guys? Yeah. All right. Oh, good. We're going to do some show and tell tonight. Plus, you'll notice that we're recording this. We have right. four cameras, and I hope this one is getting past your shoulder that's behind you. Yeah, I hope yeah, so. It is. I can see. And, and the reason for that is, is that you should be recording everything you do when you get in front of people. If you get up at your local rotary or if you go somewhere else and give a little talk, just put a, you know, a lob on yourself and record the audio, if not the video. Can we use this if we haven't recorded it? No, but right. we can use this if we do. So there, if you want to make sure that you're not seen on this video, when we play a first video, you can move a little further to the back. But notice everything is coming over your shoulder. So if you don't want your nice bald head to show in this video, you may want to, but, okay? So but we'll take it as everybody's approval that they're on this video because I'm recording it now to see that there are no objections or you move a little further to the back. Right. Now, we're going to show you a lot of different video clips. I uh, just want to point out a couple of things. They've been shot at all different times in all different formats. None of them are designed for a screen this size. We do online marketing. Uh, we don't do Hollywood video uh, and Hollywood size production. So some of them are going to be a little grainier than others. Uh, a lot of them are shot, uh, the more recent ones, in 720p uh, in HD. But a lot of the earlier ones were not because we're, you know, think about the average video you watch on the web. You're looking at it about that big, not that big. So just to set the stage that way. Um, also, if you'll watch this first video, we're going to start with one that's really going to give you a lot of information. If you could take some notes on here, I'd like you to count the number of styles of video. I'm going to suggest a few, but count the number of styles of video, like testimonials, attention grabbers, interviews, humor, call to action to use a QR code or mobile marketing, music, sound effects, even a bit of profanity, Dr. Mark. Whose fault was that? And jot down what you learn about us through this video. You know, so we haven't even introduced ourselves to you. You don't know which one of these bald guys is Dr. Mark and which is Charlie, unless you've seen our videos. I think you'll find out in what you see in here. Ready? All right. This was done for another event where we were asked to speak. But the phone number in it we'll use later. Here we go. Mark and Charlie, uh, first of all, got your video. It's outstanding. It's a little like when you go online and somebody says something negative about you, how things can really stink. You can't spend time reading all this. Look what we did. Some great courses here. Some fabulous things here. These are great. You don't have time to read all these. You've got to get it. It's for everybody. Please, right there, get it now. It's for everyone down there. So when you started out in that first video with us, you were maybe just a little nervous? I was maybe a little more <laughs> nervous. And then very we, nervous. And then we worked together, and you did some of the exercises we had. It's very interesting, actually, on how you were able to identify where is my fear coming and how to get it out. These guys are so smart. They're so bright. They're so much fun. They make it also doable. The way that I now edit videos. I mean, it really is simple. <laughs> they made it 
real simple. So thank you so much for doing that for me. I've learned tons, tons of information from them. I'm going back for more. You should be there too. Thanks a lot. It was Colonel Mustard in the library with a candlestick, Charlie. What I'm, are you doing? I'm telling you, I'm setting up... Are we up playing the, games here? Well, we are playing games here. We're going to set up Clue because, you know, there are so many people... I had to understand this game. There are so many people online that don't have a clue how to set things up, especially with their video. It's so important. Isn't it warm? Isn't it rosy? Side by side. Yeah, that's what I would. That, that's it. That's what they're doing. That's what they remember. Okay. Yeah. What the hell are you doing, Charles? I'm getting ready to go to the Wharton Club and speak to them, you know. It, this is what the class of 75 remembers me as. Double checking your name to make sure that I'm, the, the connections are right. Well, I better be in there. I mean, well, you got pages and pages. Look at all these here. You're on 10 or 12 pages on these things, and there are thousands of results here. And you're on, sure, you're here. The connection's fine. You too. I mean, I, let's see. All of you. I'm going to jump all the way to page 10 here. Yeah, page 10. Still all of you and me. Filled with the, filled with the stuff we're doing here. This we always put ties on on the East Coast, though, Mike. Oh, you know? <laughs> no, aren't you I, guys? Why do you just came in from San, Diego, from San Diego and he said, do you wear a tie to bed? I said, no, I don't wear a tie to bed. I said, but, you know, we, I do put a tie on. Anyway. That's, well, you, you, look, you look delightful. So maybe you that's know. how I'll open this up. So here's what I'll do. I'll just, I'll just start, all right? All right. All right, this is Mike Koenigs, no tie Mike Koenigs, and I'm speaking to Dr. Mark Kostman with a tie and Charlie Seymour Jr. with a tie. Great job once again. I'm so impressed. I'm so proud of you. It uh, really makes me very, very happy to, to see what you guys are doing. <laughs> we tell people that you see what you look for well I'm just trying to look at the world a little differently <laughs> well that was really something all those videos you remember doing all those That's right that is the power of video boy it just takes over doesn't it dominates it shows personality it's fun it gets your attention it's engaging it sure does people go to find out who you are and they see all that hi I'm Charlie Seymour jr. and I'm dr. Mark Kosman and that's what you're gonna learn here how to create domination a dominant total web presence using video but also other things video you audio your, and print you have your cell phone out you better need it right ready. now why why they're gonna need their cell phone because once you create this great content and this dominant total web presence we're gonna show you how to create the ultimate automated sales machine we hear it all the time I hate to sell oh, your marketing sucks you hate to sell but now you, need the the sales. you need the sales you need the profits so here it is here's the phone number we're gonna show you how you're gonna create this at the event but you're gonna get a little taste of it right now that's right we your name and your email address to the number right now because you don't want to miss you don't want to miss this event and there are only 30 seats at this event so text in now so that you can be sure to get that information to get you into this event hey if you're sitting at the front row we're gonna put up this really cool QR code if you got a smartphone and you want to scan it and see have if you that can scan with that but texting is the fastest way and there's only room for 30 here so oh. you might want to go with the texting option we gotta go but you want to text in instantly to learn more about what we're doing at this great event because I'll tell you, when Ken MacArthur throws an event, it's quite an event. So join us. Learn how to dominate text and how to automate everything so that you can dominate online. You gotta come. Hurry. Please. We didn't do it all once that we were gonna do. It was fun. It seemed to work. It seemed to work. Thank you. So, what styles did you see that we were using there? Anybody? <laughs> There's quite a few different things in there, but... Anybody? A little comedy. Who said comedy? Jeremy said comedy. You got the lasers? 
All right, this is Bill Glazer's book, Outrageous Advertising That Is Outrageously Successful. Thank you for contributing comedy. Comedy is certainly one of the things that we go for. Okay, I have been accused of being the Jerry Lewis of the two of us. I don't think that's quite fair. I've got to have a little intelligence going on here. But showing personality is really important in video. Okay? All right, well, I want to take your audience temperature for a second here. How many people are using video in some form or another in their marketing at this point? Show of hands, just to get a sense. Okay. And who is not using video? Why are we not using video? Is it too difficult? You don't want to be your own camera? Anybody has a thought? Just shout it out. Uncertainty. Uncertainty on how to do it? Yeah. What type of equipment to use? Too much how. So too much how. Too much right. technical. Learning curve, yeah. yeah You've got your own specialty, you're spending enough time on that, and videos somebody else's. I can enhance my specialty and dominate and modify my specialty so that I'm actually Wow. She's, she's one to watch tonight, I think. You know what I mean? There she is. Go ahead, you go. Um, I was going to ask how many people in the, in the audience actually either use or uh, use AWeber services or work at AWeber? Okay. And is anyone using video in conjunction with uh, email marketing? Not many. Oh, a few. Okay. Okay. Cool. All right. Good. good. We're getting there. Okay. We want to show some marketing ideas because what we talk about that we do, we're not videographers. We are people well, that is, specialize but we're, we're not. <laughs> in video marketing, right? We use video to market. Why? There are lots of reasons. You'll find out a lot of those tonight. But we're not going to go to a big presentation of 1,500 people and set up three cameras and record you and give you that recording at the end. That's not what we do. We get you noticed, our clients noticed, ourselves noticed, online, building personality and everything we're doing with that. So we want to focus in this video on what we call the bumper message bumper style of video. So the message in the middle is something that you deliver often, but you put bumpers on the front and back. So this might be the intro. I'll do it from your direction. It should be over this side. Um, this is the intro to what's going on. Here is the main message for this. And then here is the end, which is often a call to action. This is one style of that right here. I went to a meetup the other day. And this very nice woman, her name is Carol, hi Carol, she leaned across after hearing me speaking with somebody else and she said, you're Charlie Seymour Jr. You're famous. You're all over the internet. I see your videos everywhere. I guess that's one of the reasons I do video, right? This is not what I said to her. I talked to her about how she can do videos. You know, I can still remember when I was a kid, I drove up to Swarthmore College and there was this circle up there. And there was one of the local newscasters, his name was Bob, and he was interviewing different people. And I called out to the window to him and waved over to him, hey Bob, how are you? My friend said, how can you call him that? I felt like I knew him. Don't you feel like you know people that are in the movies, that are on television, that do your local news? Don't you think you get to know them? and? really feel that there's someone you have known for a long time, you get comfortable. That's what happens with video. It's always fun for us when we go somewhere and somebody uh, calls across to us or just walks up and says, Hi Dr. Mark, hi Charlie. Well the only people that call him Dr. Mark are those that have seen him here on our videos. I made that up. His, his wife is also a doctor. They're both psychologists. So I tease and call her Dr. Deb, which people don't really call to call her. But people get to know you on video. Can you see the power of video? Can you see why there were some people at that meetup who came across the room to talk to me after hearing Carol? Thank you again, Carol. That was very nice of you to say it that way. Then two days later, I saw Carol again. And we're talking about does Carol within her own business she does a lot of graphic design. Does she have any video services? And she said to the buddy sitting next to me, she said she didn't. I said, Carol, of course you do. You have me. So we can work together. That's one of the joys of this. We all can work together. Dr. Mark and I do not clean out our own gutters. 
We don't, well, he may cut his grass. I don't cut my grass. I don't service my own car. I go to experts to do that. That's what this society's all, we're all doing in it. So go ahead and use experts. See why video is so important and get those videos out there. You need to be, hey, you're everywhere on the internet too. Notice a bit of a story that helped wrap on that too, right? Going up to Swarthmore College, people think in stories and relate to stories very well. There was also a testimonial in it without coming right out and saying it, right? Carol said, so. I could have made it up, I didn't. Is Carol here right now? I don't think she's coming to this one, but in any case, okay? But some of us have met Carol before. I think Jeff's met Carol as well. All right. All right, we're going to go on to another style of video. Uh, we use webinars a fair amount. Webinars are a pretty powerful uh, marketing tool, but we actually think most people's webinars suck. Uh, most people's way of doing a webinar is to do a PowerPoint presentation and kind of talk over it. And, uh, you know, how many people have been on a webinar? Pretty boring, aren't they? Anybody uh, sleep during a webinar? Yeah. I, I hate that, that kind of... that the people at the control can see whether you're looking at another screen when they, you're on a lot of those webinars? Can. They really can. They can. Yeah. They, so we don't do live webinars most of the time. Uh, we, we like to have a certain amount of production value to what we do. So we pre-record webinars and we either have them on demand or we have them on a set schedule. We have a, uh, an online platform that allows us to create kind of a simulated live environment for a webinar. But webinars are really powerful. Uh, so we're going to show you just a, a piece of one here. Uh, but watch the beginning of this webinar and be ready, be ready to tell us the three steps to success with online marketing. The three steps to success with online marketing. Remember, you're not here just to watch videos and have a night out. You should be learning from each of them. What can I do like that? How can I modify what they're doing? to work for me. Okay, I don't want to be so much the fool the way he is. Maybe I'm not going to be so serious and studious the way he Pick your own style, but watch it in this. There's a lot you can do. And while Charlie's setting that, said. one further thought is that one of the other reasons we don't like those PowerPoint styles of video, especially for professional people, people who have an expertise that really need to connect with their audience, we want to be on camera because that's the personality building part. That's the relationship building part. You don't get that looking at somebody's PowerPoint slides. I can just send you my slides. You don't need to be at the webinar for that. And if you're the reason that people do business with you, it's not that you have a widget somewhere that you're selling or you're just selling a book for somebody else, but you're the reason. You're the doctor, the lawyer, the candlestick maker, right? You need to be online. You need to have that personality. How many people, when they walked in here today, had some idea who I was? <laughs> Wasn't because I was in a PowerPoint somewhere not showing you. We're who really I trying to get him to get out of his shell. He's a little bit of a wallflower, you know, but. Hi, this is Charlie Seymour, Jr. And this is Dr. Mark Costa. And welcome to our webinar. We happen to have things right in front of us, so we're going to review to and look over at our computers. But this is Power Your Profits Through Online Video Marketing. And I really like the subtitle of this, too. Go for it. Discover how to generate more business, make more money, and drive new referrals when you dominate... Google search results. Now, we use Google as the generic because it right. means we mean all of the search Yahoo engines. being all of the search engines, but Google is, of course, the 800 pound gorilla. It, who it really is. So, why should anybody listen to you, Dr. Mark? Who the heck are you that they should listen oh, to they, you? Oh, they, they shouldn't listen to me. I'm, oh, he's leaving already. I'm leaving yes. already. Yeah. No, they sh why should they listen to me? Because we've been doing this for three years now. We have been together. Been, together. Uh, we have really been following this growth curve of the power of online video. It, it's really in the very beginning, I think, still of where it's going. Uh, it's become already so powerful. 
uh, but it's getting more powerful. And I like that the doctor is real. He's a doctor of psychology, and he's really examining from that perspective what people are thinking about. Now, me, I happen to have an MBA in marketing and management and have done a lot of video, theater work, storytelling over the years, as well as pulling all these kinds of things together. Mm -hmm. And we have hundreds of videos that are Literally, out there hundreds that people can actually see hundreds already. just marketing us, yeah, but, yeah. Uh, and then work for clients as well. So. Exactly. So we're going to use the... Uh, uh, special report is kind of our outline. You'll see us referring right. to that. Hopefully, as you've we downloaded go. that already. Right. Um, so, uh, Dr. Moore, you love to tell the story here about the drills about and Home holes. Depot. That's Home right. Depot. Tell us about Home well, Depot. I love talking about the fact that Home Depot sells a lot of drills, but in when you sit back and think about it, who really wants to buy a drill? Nobody, nobody wants a drill. You buy a drill because you have something else that you want. You need a hole. Exactly. You need to create a hole, and it just so happens. The drills are awesome tools for accomplishing that. So you set out to create a hole. You know, you could do it with a pocket knife. Not so hot to do it that way. You're going to get blisters. Drill is great. That is why we have become the video marketing guys. Not only because we happen to love video. That that's really sort of say because we had holes in our heads. That's right. I wasn't sure exactly where you were going with that. Okay. <laughs> no, uh, we are content marketers, but we have focused almost exclusively on video at this point because it's so powerful. Like a drill totally. being so powerful at creating a hole, you can do it other ways, but that is just the, the right tool for it. Well, at this point, if you want to get found online, if that's important to you, that if that's important to your business, if your ideal client is out there and you want them to find you, it just so happens that video is the most powerful kind of content marketing to generate that traffic coming back to you. And we find that people have to get found. That's right. Three strategic goals for your marketing And plan. that's the first one, first get one. found. Yeah. Then they have to engage with people. Do you get the sense that this is engaging? I'll look over here to the close-up camera and say, do you get the sense that this is engaging? When you get to see the personality of people, of course it is. We happen to be here in our TV studio. We didn't always do video this way. That's right. We did it just with little cameras, and we were out on street corners, wherever we were with video. Now we have our own studio because we know how powerful this is. So get found engage through the camera right and part of that engagement is to make a connection that allows you to then follow up with a profitable automated system and that's number three and that's number three so that you are going to build that relationship over time and what's better for building a relationship than face-to-face -face actually meeting well we believe that video is actually better than real live face-to-face -face because you can create this and now be available 24-7 for the person who does when you get found they are finding you and they're having a face-to-face -face experience with you. So this is my problem with this particular one. I was watching this again to say how much of this do I show and every time I wanted to stop it earlier today I said oh no there's so much good information. This if you go to our site the video marketing guys com you get this whole webinar. Okay but we wanted to show you an example. So what were the three things that you need to be successful online in your marketing? Who's got them? Get found, people, follow, follow. What was the second one? I missed the second one. You got it. And, and where, could you, let me, where could you find a follow-up system? A good follow you know, where? where? That Anybody have a suggestion? A a Weber or something oh, like that? A I think that's a yeah. pretty darn good job yeah. at doing something like that. So the book that we have for you right now, because you were so good to, uh, to volunteer there, you get the sense when you give things away, people want to be engaged in what's going on? Yeah, well, that happens online, too. Uh, Bob Regneris, we just recorded a big uh, interview with Bob. Uh, the best business card on the planet, creating a book. Right. So thank you very much. Yep. Well then, just to recap, as we have just heard so uh, correctly stated, those are the three things that we're always, always trying to achieve for our clients. How do you get found? We're creating this dominant online presence with tons of content. Video is just the magic right now. It gets pulled right to the front. Engage. Well, you can't get much more engaging than video that has moving pictures. Uh, you know, there's a reason we like to go to the movies. Uh, it's a lot less work than reading. Uh, reading might be better for your brain, but you know. Uh, and then you got to follow up. You can't assume that just because you have an awesome webinar or something like that that someone's going to buy your product or service on the first encounter with you. You need to build a relationship. You need some kind of mechanism to do that over time. So automated systems. We're talking marketing because we're not videographers. We are people that use marketing. I'm going to use this building and I'm going to assume since I'm seeing it rounded right here that this is a round building. 
you're going to see how this fits in what I do. I often get up and I draw a big circle. I'm going to use this building, this gorgeous building that A. Weber is hosting us in right now. In your marketing, 95% of what you do in your business is probably the same for just about everybody who comes to you. 95%. But you need a separate doorway to invite people through so that they know what you do if you have a niche. I'm going to give you an example. When I was a photographer, professional photographer, before Dr. Mark and I started, I did bar mitzvahs, I did weddings, I did family portraits. So if I said to people, I'm a photographer, nobody paid attention. But if I said, I'm a wedding photographer, I'm a bar mitzvah photographer, you see how they understand? If I say to a bride, I am the best bar mitzvah photographer you've ever seen, what do you say to me, Cynthia? Right, can you refer to a good wedding photographer? Say, she doesn't want to come through that doorway, <laughs> right? She wants to have the one for the wedding photographer. So you can see that that took at least three doorways here. This is an important lesson in niching. So think of the round building and the doorways. Now, is the lesson, is the message that you say the same to a 22-year-old bride getting married for the first time and a 57-year-old bride getting married for the third time? We can clearly see that's very different, right? I'll use a personal example. My mother happens to be in the nursing wing of her retirement community. Thank God she got out of the hospital. <laughs> if I want to communicate with my mother, 90 years old, I have to walk through the door to communicate with my mother. She doesn't email anymore. She's not comfortable on the phone anymore. If I want to communicate with my 30-year-old daughter who's pregnant, if my phone goes off and I race out of here, you'll know why. She's due any moment. I have to text her because if I email her, she may not get it for another day or two. So not only does the message have to be niched, but how we deliver that message has to be niched. So when we're using different doorways, we need different video messages that are aimed at those doorways. So I'm not telling you you can't have a lot of different doorways, but don't just have one. Have as many as you need to niche it down to the people that you want to attract to you. Well, especially don't have one that's generic because then you're invisible to everyone. Especially, if you ever notice that online is kind of a noisy space? I mean, you've got to niche down and be a specialist. You create that one doorway, develop it, and then you can clone it and build another one. But we're going to have a little bit of fun here. One of the things, uh, even in Charlie's presentation of the round building with many doors, there's a story element to it. If you want to create videos that engage people, one of the things that you have to make sure that you're doing in it is figuring out how to create a bit of a narrative arc and telling a story. So let's look at a little fun video here and check out the story. We also talked about my video marketing minutes, and we put that out as a an incentive for you to come. We're leading up to that because we're going to invite someone to be a part of one of these. I don't know why so many of us forget this lesson. It's one that we're taught early on. Every toddler knows this lesson. When you fall down, get up! When you're creating your videos, they're ones and zeros. They're digital material. If it doesn't work, throw it out. Start... They're ones and zeros. Throw... They're ones and zeros. Throw them away. They're ones and zeros. Throw them away! Their ones and zeros throw them away. I say, old chap, they're just ones and zeros. Throw them away if it doesn't work well. And everything else that happens in your business, it's the same way. If it doesn't work, start over again. If somebody has a negative opinion about what you're doing, either ignore it or do something different. You just say as the child does, uh-oh and get back up and keep moving. That's right, sweetheart. Get back up. Keep moving. If it doesn't work, 
Start it over again. It's okay. You can throw it away. Just start over again if it doesn't work. Fall down, bump your head, and start over again. When you fall down, get up! Yeah, I think I like that one. Let's keep that one. Clearly these are designed to tell you about what website? The video marketing guys. <laughs> We're subtle. Who, who noticed the uh, cross marketing that I did there in the middle of that and can tell me for what website that was? Lessons from my grandson dot com. We may just see lessons from my grandson today. Thank you very much. Hey, you don't stand out, get out. That's our number one best-selling book on Amazon.com. Thank you very much. All right, let, let's give you a little bit of a framework uh, because when you want to create some video for your marketing, the first thing you want to reach for is not the camera. It's not the place to start. You, you have to go back to some basic marketing principles before you even start designing what it is you're going to do. So the first most important step here is to sit down and remind yourself something that you've hope, hopefully defined many, many times already, but you've got to remind yourself right before you start designing the arc of this script, which is, who is this video for? Who's my audience? Because in these videos, if you notice, Charlie, in, in many of these examples, and myself too, we're not tr trying to speak to a big audience like you all. We're speaking to one individual person. Your video is always being watched by one individual person. So you're having a one-on-one -on -one conversation many times over. That's part of the power of video. So step one in this framework is sit down and get really clear in your mind to whom am I speaking. Back to those doorways again. You're not, if you're speaking to everyone, then start over again. Get up because you're about to fall down. You need to speak to a very specific audience. You need to have a specific niche in mind when you're creating that video. So with that person in mind, now you have to begin with the end of the video in mind. The last thing in that video we just saw is a call to action to come over and opt in and register at the videomarketingguys.com. So I need to know where the story ends. That's much more important than where their story begins. So who am I talking to? What do I want them to do? What's the call to action? Now that I'm clear with what I want them to do, you want to step, step back and think, what is the emotion that I want to evoke in this story? Because it's the emotion that gets somebody to go someplace. Emotion motivates. If it's just facts, they're going to watch it. Maybe they're entertained, maybe they're not. So your story is to a specific person. There's a specific end in mind, and I've got to motivate you somehow to take that action. The fourth thing you need to define then is what is the core message that I'm now going to convey in the middle part of that message. So I've got the beginning, the end, in the middle I've got a, a, a core message that I'm going to you know, build that story around. And story is the fifth element. If I can build it as a narrative arc with a beginning, middle, and end. You know, every good story is once upon a time and it ends with they lived it happily ever after and something cool happens in the middle. Your video needs to do the same thing. It can be 60 seconds, it can be 30 seconds. You can, you can do vines now for six seconds and you still have to have a beginning, middle, and an end. Otherwise, the narrative doesn't make me want to do anything. It doesn't get me anywhere. There's a lot of really bad vines out there, but the, uh, Adam Goldberg, the actor, if you haven't stumbled across his vines, I highly recommend them. They're hysterically funny with the blonde wig. It's really interesting. Um, so what is the story? Then you've got to pick a style. Do you want to be on camera? Is it live action? Are you going to do an animated video? Are you going to do a voiceover with slides and text? Um, you've got to pick that and then that allows you to then just start to structure what it is you're going to create. So all of that, you, you never even picked up a camera yet. That's just to do all of that groundwork to lay, lay that groundwork before you get there. So then you decide, with the, based on the style, am I even going to use a camera? Am I just recording my PowerPoint and doing a voiceover? You're going to choose the equipment, the lighting, and get into the more technical stuff, all the, the, the stuff that has the learning curve to it to figure it out. But you can start very simply, and we're going to you know, get to that in a second. Then you get to the nuts and bolts. Shoot the video, edit the video, publish the video, figure out a distribution system for the video. We'll, we'll touch on all those things. But let's look at how it can be done incredibly simply at this point. Also notice in a lot of these videos that we have three things going on at least at one time. You've got the picture going on. We've got a little soundtrack going on. So I'm going to do a little. We've got a lower third. Most of us really don't use the third, but the lower part where the text is. 
right? And then maybe we have a voiceover or something else. Is anybody else scared by seeing me that large? <laughs> I don't know. We have got to stay away from these projectors. All right, here we go. This is a, a way to do it very simply. Now, where does a video like this one appear? This is a call to action video on the web page to sign in. Because, again, you're sitting here saying, how can I do what they're doing? Where are they using video? What style of video? This one's on that page. Hi, this is Charlie Seymour Jr. here on our one camera. We're talking to this camera. This is just to show how easy it is on the one camera, one take. Really, all you need to do is sign in. Yeah, you get to see right all this information is. One camera, one Charlie invented this. One camera, see. one take, no editing. Couldn't be easier. As see it, how it is. Started. You use this. You come right in here. You get close on Dr. Mark. You see exactly what's going on here. You just use this one camera and here you are. No editing. It's so simple. Sign, sign in. in right find out there. about it. This is something you want to know about. It's real simple to you. So the only equipment you need is already in your pocket. Your cell phone camera is enough to hold out that camera, do a quick introduction, turn it to somebody else that you're going to do a quick interview with, close it with yourself, done. You know, one camera, one take, no editing. Editing is also very easy. Can anybody use Word? Yeah, see, if you can use Word, and if you go back to WordStar and WordPerfect like <laughs> some of us do, if you can use any of those, you can edit video these days. Can you do all the things we're talking about? My friend Jeremy walks in and says, I got a green screen now. That's terrific. You don't have to start that way. He's advanced to move on to that. You've seen a lot of green screen work here too. Let's just look at a little bit of editing on the Mac. And I think yeah, you, you want to pay attention here for a very special kind of MacBook Pro that Charlie has. <laughs> Right. You can't get these uh, anywhere. See-through. We'll tell you why. This was for a podcast. The series was called On Topic. Tell you, I'm going to get it done before you. No, are. no, no. I, I, you know, this is. A, I, I started with the Mac. Yeah, yeah, but I've got my transition in here already, and I've already oh, got the text on sure. top. Sure. Well, you've got you know twice the RAM that I've got because you know Mr. Showoff. Yeah, well, it's so easy to do here when you're an iMovie. That's right. I'm hey, telling you. We just recorded a great podcast down below here. I, I'm trying to talk, but it's going to slow me down. He's going to beat me. I'm going down to. below here. Podcast about how easy it is to edit on the Mac. We I'm telling you, it's very simple. Just click that link down below there. It's going to take you over to the player. Like, I'm I'm just about done here. You know, uh, I'm on the final final. This, this is a thing here. on me here too. Final See? credits. See, here it is. I've got it. I've got it. Now I'm ready. Uh, All I have to do is play this thing. Click it's that link. So simple. You can play play the link and you can listen to us how we did this. You'll be doing it very faster. Very simple in faster than we do. I'm, I'm faster than he is. I'm telling you, this is the way to go. He's got twice the RAM. Too. Don't He's forget sure. the RAM. It's the program. I'm the better editor. Sure. Go ahead and listen. So he says, click that link. Go listen to the player. Enjoy. All right, here's, here's the, the advanced question. Who can explain why Charlie's computer is see-through? <laughs> yes. That's right. He was editing, and the, the, the stripes on that editing were green, and we're shooting on green screen, so anything that's green becomes transparent, so his, his Mac became transparent. So that's uh, one of the quirks of green screen. <laughs> and sometimes you don't catch that until you've edited it, but, you know, yeah. okay. Whatever. The other thing is bizarre that you find out the hard way is that black, for some strange reason, reads green a lot of times in the lighting to to uh, the camera lens, and uh, you know things that are shiny really bad. Shiny things reflect some of the green. You get all kinds of trouble when well, you get. talk about some. You're, you're going to have lots things. of you're going to have lots of trouble now that you have a green screen. Just just to warn you. Talk about some of those technical things like lighting and camera. Not not in depth, but a little right. bit today. Well, what they're looking for. You want to start simple. You want to start with absolutely nothing but one camera, one take. Whatever you've got is, is enough to get going because any video that you produce is better than no video that you produce. Uh, it's still going to get out there. It's still going to get noticed. It's still going to get some attention for you. But as you start to get into video and you want to get a little more technical, I mean, it does help to have 
decent lighting. You know, it makes a be very big difference. Makes everything you can do with a little bit of extra equipment makes your editing much simpler after the fact. There's less touch up, there's less adjusting the color. So getting a couple of soft box lights, uh, you can get them on Amazon for under 200 bucks. It's amazing. You can get a whole set of three of them. Uh, you just position them to get a little bit of light coming from both sides of your face so you get rid of some of that, get rid of some of that shadow, uh, light your background a little bit so that it separates you a little bit from the background. All of that makes your video look better and it makes it a lot easier. But the most important thing about video has nothing to do with video. Does anyone know what the most important thing is to make your video look better? In the back there. Audio, right? Does that sound weird to anybody? The audio makes the video look better. It's just a weird brain thing. If you've got an awesome video in 1080p with crappy audio, it makes the entire experience terrible. You can have a horribly grainy video, but if it has crystal clear audio, it still works. So the trick when you go to buy a camera is make sure that it has an external jack so that you can plug in an external microphone that wires it. You can't use the microphone that's in the camera unless you're literally holding it within two feet of your face. It's just going to be terrible. Um, you can get fancier and get wireless mics and get you know uh, that as you go. So there are a lot of inexpensive cameras. You don't need an expensive camera. You don't need expensive equipment to do this. But you do have to read the little technical details on Amazon and try to find a model that has an external jack. Otherwise, don't waste your money. Okay, so let's leave it at that. Yeah, and editing, we did um, what you can do on Windows because it comes right in the operating system. Right. You right. all it's have editing right software. If you've got a Mac, we started with iMovie. Yes, we're using Final Cut Pro now. Yes, we're not just using consumer grade everything, but that's how we started. So we could see it. You saw in an earlier one a flip camera. You can't buy them new anymore, but you can still get them around. That's your cell phone. The quality on my cell phone, I have to degrade some because the files are too big. It's too good. Let's go to something else, too. Getting on camera is as easy we have a course on that as talking to somebody in a neighborhood barbecue. Start there, right? Jeremy and I, Jeremy and I went to um, Dan Kennedy group for a lot of years and we would just sit there at the table and we'd have a conversation. We didn't get all nervous about, oh my God, I'm going to go in front of the camera. You know, they talk about being on video or standing in front of talking to people. People fear it more than death. <laughs> really? What do they say on Saturday Night Live? Obviously, really? we're strange people. Come on, seriously? <laughs> it's not that. And then the nice thing is, if you don't like it, throw it away. It right. never has to see the light of day. So start slowly. Start with baby steps. We'll talk more about the course that we have on that, if that's some interest for you. But again, if you are the reason people come to your business, if you have a degree that people look for, you're a doc as I say, a doctor, a lawyer, an accountant, a counselor, or something like that, a candlestick maker, you need to be there on video. You don't want somebody showing up to one of a hundred cardiologists in your hospital system. You don't get paid if they go to him or her and not you. You want them to know who you are. It's an important thing. Start with small steps. Right. I just want to really underscore something that Charlie said. One of the biggest things that get people to stop in their tracks when they think about video is fear. You know, the fear of looking stupid on camera. Because most people... Wait a minute, that's a fear? Yeah, we're, it's a fear. We're afraid of looking stupid on... No, we do it on purpose. We're okay. professional. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I thought I just heard that. Okay. But the, the association that people make mistakenly is they think of the camera and they think of what Charlie and I are doing right now, standing in front of a group of people. A lot of people don't like to be on this side of the audience, okay? And they think the camera is the same thing, but it's not. You are in complete control of the camera environment. There is no audience until you hit publish. Right? You get to stop, review it, edit it, throw it away, start over. You can do. It. We did one for one video, 57 takes. Uh, you know, un until we got the one that we were happy with. No one saw the other 55, right? Or 56. I did. Well, yeah. Okay, he did. So, don't fear the camera. It's your friend. It's, it, there's just so many good reasons for doing it. Okay. Well, we're going to talk about some reasons for why you need video. Uh, this is a series that I've that is still ongoing that I'm working on called Why why you need video. This is reasons three through eight. If you got uh, some of the emails that Charlie's been sending working our way up to this, there were reasons one and two that uh, he already sent to you. Whether you saw them or not, this is reasons three through eight. And it's going to show off a couple of different styles of video here with animation.
I'm sure they're going to show up here any minute now. Oh, you're here! Welcome. Video jumps right off this page. It's alive. It's engaging. It certainly is. We only become alive when you click on us here. You know what? Everyone can use video. Every kind of business can benefit from the power of video. From a Main Street business that just needs to get the word out, get found, and then have a simple call to action with contact information. It's great having all those videos out there attracting attention for you. That's right, but you might need to do more than that. Your business might have multiple products and have to do product demonstration or different services that you're trying to promote. Here we can get a whole lot more strategic and targeted. It's so much easier to know how things work when we can see how they work in a video. Then, the real power of video is to be professionally promoted. To have live talent on camera promoting you is like having a commercial and a testimonial all wrapped up in one. People believe things more when someone else says something nice about you. Absolutely. They'll tell you why they should be doing business with you. Do you know? 52% of consumers felt more confident about their buying decisions after they'd watched a video. That's more than half the people. Shoppers who viewed video, they were, this is amazing, 174% more likely to make a purchase than those who didn't watch a video. Well, of course, they understand things a lot better that way. You know, you want to get your word out, you want people to share your message. Well, 92% of people who watched mobile video, they shared that video with other people. You know, video shows up really well on smartphones and tablets. You get the sense it's going to the video marketing guys? <laughs> yeah. Okay, now I have a question who was paying attention here. Let's <laughs> Quiz time. Find out. Like, what percentage were people more likely to buy something if they saw a video first? I, who's na who, who did I hear scream it out first? Okay. <laughs> I was coming back here. You, you know what I mean? It's very nice to see you. Yeah, but it's, you know, we've encouraged this talking out. Thank you. 107, 174% more likely to buy if they find a video there. Should you not have a video there instantly? Good Lord. That's, that's kind of good motivation, right? Uh, if you're trying to sell something, hopefully we're, we're all in a business where we're trying to sell something. 174%. That's pretty cool. Now, obviously, there, there was a lot going on in that video. I mean, that took a lot of editing to create. That was not one video, one take. We had live action, superimposed uh, animation. We had ourselves, you know, on a different track that was embedded into the animation and popping out of the animation. Uh, so that, that's sort of... You know, 301, I guess, not 101, but... Exactly, a few things to do. Okay, now, we may just get a couple of you on your feet to do something. But before we do, if you have a smartphone, a cell phone with you, would you take it out? How many people tell you to put them away, turn them off, never let them beep? Again, if mine goes off and I have to race to the hospital, you'll understand. Okay? Anybody have Twitter on their phone? Okay. Those of you who do, I would like you, if you'd be so kind, to tweet that you are here in the beautiful headquarters of AWeber and tell the world that they have generously invited all of us into their home. Is there a hashtag you want us to use? How about AWeber with a hashtag? Sure. We just used that. Okay. If you happen to want to say that you're learning something about video marketing, do that too. I'll give you a little bit on, of time on that. And then keep that phone nearby. We may use that phone a little later. I'll tell you, I have just about everything that I do in all of our video work connected directly to my Twitter account. I happen to have 13 Twitter accounts at this point. I'm not Oprah, as much as I might think I am. So I go by niches. I don't think somebody wants to hear the same message at Photo Charlie that they hear at Dr. Mark and Charlie, so I have little niches that I use. And depending on what the material is, it goes out that way. I've got three of them connected to my phone here at the moment. Okay, one of the things I invite you to do if you're brave enough to come in front of this group, and gosh, this may turn into a video moment for at least one of you. I will say for one of you. If you're willing to come up and give your 30-second elevator speech on your business to introduce yourself before this entire group, I want to see your hand up go right away. There's one right there. There's one here, and I'll take one right here. Come on up. 
The three of you, please. <coughs> now, what you get to do, and I'm not going to tell them so they can hear, you're going to vote on the one that does it the best. And then we're going to... No pressure. We're going to include that person. We're going to record one with that person to go into one of my video marketing minutes. Okay? Don't tell them. This is just a secret with us. Okay. Would you like to... Uh, is, and seriously, try to keep it to 30 seconds, but tell us who you are, what you do. Yeah. My name is Jeff Mateus, and I produce creative campaigns for small businesses. I produce videos, and I came to this conference today find out a little bit more how to get, market, get the target market together, but um, I'm here and willing to work with anybody who's looking to have a video produce. And that is all. Very good. Let's thank you for coming up. All right. Thank you. Next. Good evening. I'm Cynthia Brown. I'm Cynthia Brown of Cynthia Brown Social Hour, where we help you with coaching, consulting, and content creation. Help you on those top tier social media platforms, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, and Pinterest. Cynthia Brown of Cynthia Brown Social Hour, and you can also follow our blog on your social media lady Thank you very much. Thank you. Hi, I'm Alicia Ugaldi from ClaimYourClients.com, and you know how some people have a business that they love and they love what they're doing, but they just don't know how to get more clients. Well, uh, my company, Claim Your Clients, helps people get their, either their first client or more clients by um, helping them figure out what's their focus and what their uh, main thing is that, they're, that they uh, are doing to help people transform whatever they need, they want to transform. Thank you very much. We're good. Stay here for just a second, if you would. All right, we're going to vote. You ready? By applause. Applause meter. meter. Applause meter, ready? For the best one. <laughs> I think we have a winner. <laughs> My dear, come on up. You now get to be led by the great Dr. Mark Cosman. All right, the reason we're, up a little video. reason we're doing this is just to show you how easy it is to do a very simple basic you know you guys probably do a fair amount of networking in your business you go to meetup groups you maybe you're a member of BNI hopefully you have this concept of a 30 second elevator speech in your mind it's a great way to do a video a video for a landing page a video for your home page on your on your website so we're going to create a video right now with Cynthia and it's going to be then incorporated uh, by Charlie into one of his video marketing minutes. So this is a really simple camera. It's called a ZI8. They don't even make it anymore, but you can still get them on Amazon used. And it's a very simple $24 external microphone. Uh, one of the nice things about the ZI8 is that it has an external jack like we were talking about. So we are going to mic Cynthia just by clipping on a little lapel mic here. And we're going to turn it on. This is an important lesson to learn. Microphones don't work well when they're not turned on. I'm just going to dangle it down here. Because no matter how many times you do this, we just did it not that long ago for a client video. We forgot to turn on a microphone. It's not good when you go to edit. All right. I'm going to also capture our nice AWeber logo in the background here as well to give our friends here a plug as well. So all we're going to do is exactly what you just did, Cynthia. And if you're not happy with it, again, no pressure, right? The audience was pressure. You got one shot with this audience, and you might have messed up and embarrassed yourself. You can't embarrass yourself to this little guy because we get to hit zero and erase it if you don't like it. When she does really well at the end, give her a great big applause. We'll keep that in. Okay. All right. So let me set this little thing in motion here. And fire away. Hi, I'm Cynthia Brown of Cynthia Brown's Social Hour. Cynthia Brown Social... Cut! See how easy that is? Cut! Hi, I'm Cynthia Brown of Cynthia Brown Social Hour. At Cynthia Brown Social Hour, we provide content, coaching, and content creation to help you on those top-tier social media platforms, whether it's Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, or Pinterest. We help you engage and build your brand. Remember, Cynthia Brown of Cynthia Brown Social Hour, and you can find us on our blog from your social media. 
All right, that's okay. We're so close. I'm going to give you a little advice now. The director now steps in. One of the things we always want to do is we're looking at a camera for those of us that are vain. Who? What? We don't want to go straight onto the camera. Just turn slightly, okay? And it also by turning the neck this way, for those of us a little older than... So it just tightens here a little bit. Those of us that have to worry about that, right? So we just... So come a little bit with shoulders, right? We want to... Now, one of the big things that I do right before I start every video marketing minute, smile. Hi, and then go into it. So really relax and smile. That's what you're doing. You're looking right at the camera. You're doing fine. Take those tips, use right. them. And remember, you're only talking to one person. I'm standing right here. You're just talking to me. Okay. But look at the camera. <laughs> Hi, I'm Cynthia Brown of Cynthia Brown Social Hour. Cynthia Brown Social Hour provides you with content, coaching, and content creation for your top tier social media platforms, such as Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, and Pinterest. At Cynthia Brown Social Hour, we will help you engage and build your brand community. You can follow us on our blog, yoursocialmedialady.blogspot.com. Remember, Cynthia Brown's Social Hour. Woo! Okay, so when I nice called job. the three of them up, when Cynthia just did this, were you saying inside, oh, thank God, that's not me? Oh, I forgot to turn on the microphone. No, sorry. <laughs> or were you that saying, was last week. I wish I had had that chance? It's an interesting thing to think about, right? Because we need to get to the point of, I wish I'd been the one doing that getting up in front of people, getting comfortable in front of the camera. It, it, do you look in the mirror? We lost my father about a year ago, but honest to God, I think I see him every morning at about 6.15, looking back at me in the mirror. It's not the look that I want to have. So, you know, I go through life and I get a little more spry of what's going on, and that's what I want to have on the camera. You can do that too. All right, so you now... Cynthia has just created her video. You've got your video. Uh, you've taken some of the examples we've looked at. You've felt energized. You went home. You got your phone out or you went and straight and bought yourself a $14,000 camera. And you've shot your first video. Now what are you going to do with it? Where are we going to put it? Well, Cynthia just gave us some hints. But where can we, where can we put video? Shout them out. YouTube. Of course, YouTube, right? Where else, though? Your website, yes. Facebook, Google+. Vimeo, Pinter, all right, social media, right? There's uh, an enormous space out there for video. There's an enormous hunger for video. That's why we do what we do. We didn't start out focusing on video. We were just doing content marketing in a very broad way. Video gives us so much return on our investment for doing it. So Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, of course, is the 800-pound gorilla in the room. Uh, you got to put it there. But then you start to syndicate it out to other locations. You can create accounts on lots of other video sharing sites. We mentioned a couple of them here. Vimeo is one. There are lots you've never even heard of, strange ones. The odd thing is, even if you load your video up to a, a video sharing site that no one's ever heard of, Google finds it. Google has heard of it. It gets indexed. It allows you to get your content onto page one multiple times sometimes. Now, you can do all this. It can all be done very simply. It just takes a little bit of patience. You create your video, you set up accounts on each of these different social media platforms, you create a list of different video sharing platforms, you do have to go to each one and create a username and password, but it's not rocket science, right? We've all created accounts on lots of social media sites. You then have to take that video and upload it one by one on each of those sites. You load it up to the one, get it up there, get it, you know, it takes a little time to render, get in place, you move on to the next one. So it may take you you know, an hour or two to get it out to all these different locations. But you can do this. Uh, there are also other ways. You, there are systems out there that will allow you to create syndication and do it in a much more simple way than having to do it one by one by one because it does get old. When you start to produce as much video as we do, if you actually had to do it manually to each of those sites, you're going to get tired. So um, you can do it or you can get a system to do it for you. And we do have one of those called Marketing Business Systems. Uh, if you want help with syndication, you know, that is something that we can help out and do. It's a pretty, pretty simple process, but you, you don't need anything fancy. One of the things we've been talking about is where you use video. You just talked a lot about it here and the different styles of video. We're going to run through that. 
we're going to kind of bookend it by showing you one, talking about some, and showing you another one. So one of the things we talk about are domination videos. We don't worry about is your website number one on Google. That's not our business. We don't care about that, truthfully. Because if you're number one in the search results on that page, you've got nine competitors, plus the ones that are the paid ones, right there with you. Why do that? Let's dominate it. Let's put enough video out there and on these other video sharing sites so that when Google gets a call that says, oh, this is exactly what you do, they feed all these videos in here. So what I'm about to show you is one in a series of 10 videos that we did for this world famous crystal designer. This guy creates crystal designs that seven U.S. presidents have given out as gifts to visiting dignitaries, including to the Pope. Do you think he was using that in his marketing? Nope. <laughs> Do you think we're going to use that in his marketing? Okay. He also was a designer for seven years. Anybody heard of Steuben or Steuben Glass? It was the greatest glass company in the world. You'll learn a little bit about that here. I haven't even seen this one yet. Now I'm a little confused here because these to me look like Steuben pieces. Now I know a lot of people say Steuben, but it's really Steuben. So we're talking with Peter Yenowin crystal designer extraordinaire. Why are we looking at Steuben pieces? Through probably some intervention from above, I was fortunate enough to leave school and take a job with Steuben wow. as my first job out of design wow. school. Steuben is considered, was considered the best in the world. And so it was just extraordinary to leave school and go to the best in the world. Yes. And so it was very, very important to me and they allowed me to go at my own pace, uh, I really didn't have a boss from six months in, and I'm a rather prolific designer, so I could go and as, as soon as I could get as many new designs through the craftsman's hands and get them, making them uh, correctly, then I'd go up to the research labs at Corning, which was a, Steuben was a division of Corning Glass, and work on new applications and processes, which has gotten me to today with our own factory. So, so tell me about this piece though. This is a Steuben piece that Peter Yenowin designed. No. Uh, this is? Yes. The caterpillar was the number one selling animal for years. Wow. And that created by these little spheres because on the center of a table, everyone across from you will be inverted in each one of these, candlelight inverted. So the sphere is just this magical thing within crystal. So the caterpillar was actually a serious work of art but because Steuben had a sense of humor, I was able, or Arthur Houghton did, I was able to do it as a legitimate product. Nice. This Tell me. is because Steuben has closed. It closed a year ago, October, for, unfortunately. It was very, very sad. And so we've had so many calls for, because people knew I designed for them for seven years, that can we do Steuben for them? And our response is, no, we will not do, re reproduce Steuben You're not going to reproduce? No. But I will put on my steuben hat. And so I've been, uh, because our factory our, here in Bethlehem is all a cold fabrication. We cut, grind, and polish. Cold. Cold, yes. yes. So I've been able to put on my steuben hat, go work with studio artists, and create oh. a steuben feel, which is the hot molten glass. And this is my brand new trillium bowl, which I'm very excited about. And the first people who saw it said, I thought Stu Ben closed. So I apparently still have some of the Stu Ben-ish blood in me. And uh, I was forever grateful for the career they launched for me. And uh, So uh, Stu Ben has closed. Peter Yenowin is still here. <laughs> and very much alive and well. <laughs> so, And can't wait to hear from you. You see how that's a bumper style video that we're using again? The front and back, sending places. Uh, 
How many years was Peter Yenowin the uh, designer at Stuben? Seven. Seven years. See, we picked this up. You guys, you guys are paying attention. Thank you very much. Yes, I appreciate it again. A copy of our book, Hey You, Don't Stand Out, Get Out. Uh, you might not have been interested in that, but can you imagine if you were looking for Stu Ben glass and came across that and said, oh my God, they're closed, but this guy will do something that comes close to it? You'd be interested. It's like my wife says, I would never watch some of the stuff you guys do, but she'll sit there for hours watching QVC with her computer on QVC at the same time, or watch a movie for two hours, because she's interested in that. It lets us do it. Some other places. It's the same argument people used to make about long, long form sales letters. Who's going to read all that? But if you're really passionate about a product, you'll read all that because you actually want to know it. Um, I really want to underscore another thing Charlie was saying right before he played that um, about SEO and getting ranked. That, that is really one of the distinct, distinctive things between the way we work and the way uh, an SEO works with a website. With, with SEO, you're trying to get your website to rank well on Google. We're trying to get you to rank well on Google. You don't even need a website. Uh, Peter Yenowin doesn't even need a website, if, if, but we can get him to be all over page one. Because by taking that video, as we were saying before, and syndicating it out to all those different sharing platforms, it gets indexed over and over and over again to those key words. We start to fill all of page one. You know, people are often surprised when we tell them that that's what we're going to do for them. They're like, well, you can't do that. Well, we, we have conversations with SEO people. They're like, how did you do that? Uh, you know, we have clients that have five full pages where 98% of every single organic listing is them. Okay, that, that's what we mean when we say we want to optimize you. We want to optimize your business. We want you everywhere on those keywords. And then, in, uh, as Charlie was saying, if you're searching for glass or crystal or awards, to see five videos on page one and get involved in the story, it kind of ropes you in and you learn a lot about who Peter Yenowin is. We want the same for you in your business. So, so rattle off some of the type videos that we can do. Lots of different kinds of videos. It. From the simple videos like we were just doing with Cynthia, you might want a video on your home page. Why might you want a video on your home page? To introduce yourself. It's kind of like meeting somebody at the door. Uh, your website converts at much better if someone greets them at the door and says, hey, you're in the right place. Here's what's on my site. Over here is where you opt in and I'm going to give you my newsletter. So just sign in right over here and here's what you're going to get. Then go over here and click over here. I mean, 20 seconds, 60 seconds of that kind of orienting, does it make sense that that's going to actually tell your consumer where to go and get the, the website to work much better than when you hit that website and you're kind of looking over here and you're clicking over there. So a video that orients, a video that meets and greets. Um, webinars, we talked about. Those are kind of like the video version of the long form sales letter. Who's going to watch? A si well, we have uh, uh, Mike Canings who, who uh, we showed a testimonial there. He does six hour webinars. I don't know why he does six hour webinars. I don't know who watches a six hour webinar. Uh, but. It works for him. He's and very successful. He's nearly a billionaire at this point. So how can I argue with a six? six you know, maybe we should all be doing six-hour webinars. Um, product demonstration videos. In that reasons three through eight, we, there were a couple of clips in there of a client that does iPad covers. So you can do a little video if you're going to go to a te uh, trade show to have a video playing on your iPad on, on your table brings the whole thing to life. Um, videos in your autoresponders. Here we are at wonderful AWeber. Uh, you know, the king of email marketing. But email marketing works much better when you have video links in it, too. You put a still image in there that's a clickable link, you know, you got video email all of a sudden. Ads, we work uh, w with a couple of people who do static, you know, banner ads on sites. Bring that banner ad to life. The money you're spending for a banner ad, what if it, instead of clicking and going to your home page, which generally has too much information, we generally don't recommend that your front end marketing goes straight to a generic page on your site. Send them to a landing page with a dedicated video commercial that is exactly related to the ad. Again, back to the round room and many doors. Don't send them to the generic door. Don't send them to the front door of the business. Send them right through the door of what they're looking for. Now you can have targeted ads that perform much better because they're, you're taking that ad and making a commercial out of it. Well, we repurpose a lot of videos, too. We will take some of these and put bumpers on them and say, hey, we've created a lot of styles of videos. Here's one of them. So if we've got five or six or 800 videos, now I can just do another whole series of those to show the style of what we're doing to get our name out there to see it. These are other ways for you to take the same content and use them more than well, once. And here's another way. Testimonials. 
great thing. Lots of people have, have begun to use testimonial videos, but what if you only at the moment have print testimonials? How can you bring those to life? Well, here's one I suggestion. I have an idea, Dr. Mark. <laughs> this also has the live in it, and you've seen him say this before, but we've taken a whole series of written testimonials and done this one. Mark and Charlie, uh, first of all, got your video. It's outstanding. A way to spruce up your written testimonials. It makes it a little more fun, engaging, and a little bit of a, more of a, a music video than just reading static text on a, on a website. Doesn't but it also allows it to go out and be used other than just sitting on your website. Right. You can syndicate it out now. It's all in all the other uh, So what sites. do you think happens when somebody's searching Mike Koenig's name? Right, <laughs> yes. Right? They're going to run into some of our material. Believe me, they're going to run into some of our material. We, we keep hearing about it. We've been known to uh, try to get people's attention that way by producing video and tying it to their name. Uh, right. So when they Google themselves, they find our video. Um, we're, we're wondering how you can put the social connection with emotional hooks into what you're doing. So we have started a series. Uh, I became a grandfather um, about 20 months ago, and she's expecting another one now. She's going to have two little ones in diapers. Good God, I don't know what she's going to do. <laughs> anyway, so without coming out and waving the flag in people's face to say, we do video marketing, I'm showing some video work and doing a little different hook through this series. What did you say the series was? Because you got a book for this. <laughs> Lessons from my grandson dot com. Thank you. People have asked me, why am I spending so much time creating this video series? Let me tell you. One night I was in my grandson's room as he was about to go to bed. I had him in my arms, I had his bottle, I was feeding him his bottle. We were cuddling. He was relaxing. He was getting ready for bed. It wasn't this chair, but this is the chair that I rocked his mother to sleep in many years earlier. So I'm holding Beckett, the room is dark, the sound machine is on, my senses are overloading, and I thought, what if I die right now? He'll grow up not knowing me. You know, I'd never had a moment like that before. One of those moments that you can mark your life on. Those moments that you can look back to say to yourself, hmm, that was really a life-changing moment. It was the first time that I thought of legacy, of what am I leaving behind, let alone what am I working on right now. So I thought, I want to create something for him. I hope you enjoy it too, but something for him. He has taught me so many lessons. As we're starting, he's 18 months old, and I see something new in him every time we're together. We live fairly close. Pam and I enjoy being grandparents and having him come over. Then I read the book, The Icarus Deception, How High Will You Fly? You know, Seth Godin says, You've got to be an artist. You've got to get out there. You've got to go do something different. You've got to help other people. Don't just sit back and relax. Get out there and do something. This is my way of doing that. So Beckett, here are some lessons you've taught me.
I'm not sure why America's Funniest Videos didn't take that one. They probably get so, it was sent to them. They probably get so many that they. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure why Chris was laughing. You know, but, you know, I'm a little worried about his kid lear not learning from experience. You know. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this will show you the real style of what we're doing here because I play a character in here, not my grandson. And then I'll show you a little bit of the follow-up video there. Notice I got bumpers here again. I don't have to create the opening each time. It's already there for me. Have you ever wished that you had a magic wand that you could wave and solve all the problems and you would have no more lessons you had to learn? Here's a lesson that Beckett taught me. When you bang your head, it hurts. But sometimes we have to go through that. You know, whether he's riding his car around, that he's pushing, it reminds me a little Fred Flintstone, you know, pushing with his, and he bangs into the table. Or when he's reaching way far under the table to get one of the special things that he wants. Maybe it's his little dog that he wants to come out. It's a toy dog out from under the table to play with. He bangs his head. Sometimes there are tears. But these are lessons that we have to go through. And believe me, we will remember them when we bang our head. It's really a cute video. We don't have time to show you the rest of it. And I'm in the bathtub at one point, you know, but I know that you didn't drive all this way to see something like that. Okay. We have talked um, quite a few times about the idea of your appearing on camera. We have a student um, that has worked with us. She came to our website, was buying up all this stuff, and I said, who the hell is this? And I got in touch with her, and she said, I really want to do some videos. I'm not comfortable going on camera. So I made her a crazy offer and said, look, the course that normally sells for $297, i am going to give to you for $97. She went on and did it and created the video we're about to see. She'd never done a video before. It may touch your heart. But this is what she wrote to us afterwards. I cannot tell you how much your course every single video was of value about being in front of the camera I was surprised how hard it was for me but I'll keep doing and learning and particularly the video editing and she describes how she did it on iMovie and she didn't do that and uh, things didn't she finally wound up with a Sony Vegas product she ends it and says thank you thank you thank you so notice that even with the limited technical skills that are shown in this video how the emotion comes through and the reason that she did this video is obvious. As I watched the documentary short, Mondays at Racine, about a New York salon that offers free beauty services to cancer patients. I could think of nothing but my friend Susan, who had just been diagnosed with an aggressive form of breast cancer. Susan lives in Germany now, so it's not like I can support her by tucking a blanket around her or making her a casserole or rubbing her feet. But as I watched the brave women in this film having their heads shaved before the indignities of chemotherapy could leave it lying in clumps on their pillows, it occurred to me that there was one part of Susan's path I could walk with her. That when the time came for her to preempt hair loss and have her head shaved, I could do the same. 
I immediately knew that this was the right thing to do. But it was also scary and a little weird, or at least I felt really scared about how weird I would look with a bald head. But in the next instant, it seemed like not only the way to support a friend, but an act of personal liberation. Appearance can be such a subtle yet omnipresent master. Our concerns with how we look to others can be as deadly to the spirit as cancer can be to the body. Imagine throwing off that bondage or at least peeling back some of the layers and confronting it head on. That is the mission on which I am embarking. That even as I declare solidarity with Susan, give thanks for her friendship and pray for her long and healthy life as she triumphs over cancer. I am also preparing for a very personal journey of a year of living baldly. She has such a beautiful head of hair. And now she's in her soul. Yeah, so you like her soul. Yeah, her soul. Yeah, her soul. Yeah, her soul. Yeah, her soul. Yeah. You see the power of video? That was our first video. First video. <laughs> Pretty impressive stuff. You know, we mentioned in that little clip from the, uh, the, uh, the webinar that we had done that we've been sort of following this arc of, of video and the power of video and how it's been getting more powerful over time. So I'm just going to rattle off a couple of quick statistics of what's happening right now, and then some predictions from some of the experts of where we're going. Um, so right now, it was mentioned in one of the videos, video increases the likelihood of a front page Google search result by 96%. That's pretty good incentive for starting to create even basic video, along with the 170 whatever percent uh, increase in sales. 174, doesn't even remember 174. I wouldn't have won the book, I'm sorry. Um, Consumer viewing of video in general in this last year has increased by 55%. People are into video. They're watching video. 78% of people say that they watch at least a video per week. And 55% of people surveyed watch a video online every day. They're watching. Some of those people are likely to be your customers, your clients, your patients. Only about, now here, here's an interesting thing. This is why the little guy can use video to compete with the big boys. Only 24% of national brands are using online video marketing to their consumers right now. They're slow to get on board. They're starting to actually shift their marketing budgets from TV advertising to online advertising. But every single one of us has this amazing platform right now with very little expense to actually get your message in video outperforming people with multi-million dollar marketing budgets. So another reason for doing it. 89 million people in the United States are going to watch 1.2 billion online videos today. More than 1 billion unique visitors to YouTube each month, unique visitors. And they are spending more than 4 billion hours watching video. More than 700 YouTube videos are tweeted every single minute. 
And we mentioned the shoppers and the conversion rates that go with that. So that's, that's right this minute. Where are things going according to Comscore and Forrester Research? 76% of marketers plan to add video to their sites, making it a higher marketing priority to them than Facebook, Twitter, and blog uh, integration with the rest of their marketing. Online video users are expected to double to 1.5 billion by 2016, according to Cisco. And globally, online video traffic will be 55% of all consumer traffic by 2016. Online video production will account for more than one-third of all online advertising uh, spending within the next five years. So it's big now. It gives you amazing results right now. It's only going to get bigger, but it's also going to get noisier. So it's time to get busy and start getting into the movie, moving picture business. The other trend, of course, is mobile. Uh, video is one of the other, mobile is one of the reasons that video is becoming so popular. On a little tiny screen, video looks awesome still. Your website looks a bit like crap, I'm afraid. You know, it's hard to read text uh, on most people's websites. And sure, you can have, you know, websites that scale and, but they're so stripped down that you've lost most of the power of, of what your website is there to do in all, all its glory. But the video looks terrific on a smartphone. And 92% of mobile video viewers share that video with other people. So you get that viral effect going there just by doing that. So I won't bore you with more statistics, but the statistics are important. This stuff is for real, and it gets amazing results right now. You have a stat you want to ask whether or not somebody has uh, paid enough attention to? Oh, sure. Oh, sure. Uh, what, since you've heard it multiple times uh, in the videos and now, what, by what percentage does video... What was that? 96. 96, winner! 96% increases the likelihood of showing up on page one just for having a video. 96%. Bill Glazer's outrageous advertising. <laughs> what is, oh, yeah. The, the likelihood that you will get a, a first page search result because you have video as opposed to just text. So, you just into this one. 96. I said 96, and it was, and it was in the video as well. Did, did I say 9? Well, no. There was another 97. There is definitely another 97. There's, there are all kinds of statistics, but thank you for paying attention. That's the problem with statistics. You know, actually, 97% of statistics lie, and the other 47% are truthful. So, you know, you got to be careful with numbers. Lead us into this, Dr. Moore. All right. So, one of the holy grails of video, of course, is this concept of wanting to get a video to go viral. Now. What percentage of the effect of the video itself do you think has to do with whether or not a video is going to go viral? What's that? Yeah. Well, actually, yeah. There's a reason there's a cat in this video, and and we'll explain that ever. Yes, cats do increase. No, the, the video itself is only one third of the formula if you're trying to create a a, a video to, to go viral. The the video alone can be produced by the most famous producer on the planet. That doesn't guarantee it's going to go viral. There are two other core elements that you have to cultivate cultivate if you want to try to you know hit that. And even then, it's tough. The first is you have to have a video that's relevant to a community that is going to share it. Right? I mean, there's got to be a, an inherent shareable quality. There's got to be either something funny or socially relevant or topical that helps. But then there's another one that has nothing to do with the video uh, or the audience that you're trying to reach. Somebody else with a much bigger audience has to take an interest in your video. YouTube did an intensive bit of research on you know, an enormous sample of their own videos to look at you know, what happens when a video goes viral. Most, you know, if you are into YouTube videos, you know, you, they give you stats on all of your videos. You can see the viewer, the views of your, uh, your video over, on a graph over time. Every single video that has gone viral is flat, 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 boom, spikes. And so YouTube said, let's figure out what, what's that spike. And in every single case, someone like Jimmy Kimmel uh, or that ilk tweeted that and said, wow, you got to see this video to an audience of millions. So the video alone can't do it, and your audience alone can't do it. You've got to get the attention of a mover and a shaker to tweet that out, share it to their database, and that's the only way you're going to get that big spike. So the so, moral of the story is you have got to tell everybody about this video <laughs> so that it will go viral, right? Yes. I will see Start you. tweeting this video. You, 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 <laughs> You've seen a lot about us. I will say in this video that you will see a different side of me. Yes, you will. Yeah. Whether you want to or not, you'll see a different side of me.
two burritos, please. this ever happened to you with toiletpapervalet.com you'll never go without toilet paper again and you'll never have to leave your house to get it because with toiletpapervalet.com getting your toilet paper it's just as easy as picking up your mail so sign up and have your order delivered each month right to your door for less than it would cost you to go to the store forget loading those bulky packages of mega sized toilet paper into the back of your car let toilet paper valet do all the bulky moving so you can focus on the most important movement of your day. Sign up right now. Toiletpapervalet.com. Always delivering, just in time. Yes, that's a real business, and it's waiting for you right now. <laughs> Seriously, that what was poor. That you can get six, nine, or twelve rolls of toilet paper delivered to your door every month. That was a at toiletpapervalet.com. Let me tell you that while we're here, to we're going to get to some questions and answer too, and I know we're running close on time. While we were here, Meetup probably sent you uh, an email question. Okay, did you enjoy this evening? If you did not enjoy this evening, we're Tom and Jerry. We're really <laughs> pleased to be here with you. Uh, if you did enjoy it, it's Dr. Mark and Charlie. Certainly thank A. Weber for the terrific space that they have given to us. Right? And if you care to write a really nice comment there, we'll be happy to share that, steal that, share that on our website as well of your very nice comment. We also have more information for you. We mentioned that if you want to get that full webinar, uh, that goes into a lot of detail. It's available to you, and we're going to make it really super easy. We mentioned you might want to keep your cell phones handy. Uh, if you have a texting uh, ability on your phone, what I'd like you to do is I'm going to give you a phone number right now to text to. So pull out your phone if you got one and you want to text to this, and it's going to deliver this information to you automatically. Automagically. This is another wonderful bit of technology. Uh, so so this goes in the two area. Right. Where you're going to, and you're uh, in the two yeah. area. Here's the phone number. I'll read it a couple of times. 610-719-3272. Again, that's 610-719-3272. Anybody need that again? You're going to... You, you, All right, one more time. 610-719-3272. You're going okay. to get the webinar, you're going now to get the, a free report. That's, that's where you're sending it to. The message you're going to send is simply your first name and your email address. Just enter your first name and your email address and send that off. And what that's going to do is it's going to deliver to you a PDF document that has several case studies and goes into the power of online video, power your profits. It will then send you a link 
that gives you immediate access to, when you have time. It's about a 30 minute webinar, so just save the email. When you got 30 minutes, just click on it uh, and you'll immediately be able to watch that video. And it's also going to give you a 10 part e-course uh, that is entitled why video is vital to a professional in 2013. We're giving all that to you, yeah. so you can get no all that. No cost for that, just, you know, all you got to do is yeah. send that message in there, and, and that's... Uh, now, for being here today, I know it's going to be really difficult to remember this coupon code. It's AWeber. <laughs> AWeber is the coupon code. You saw the video from Liz. The course that Liz took from us, I'm only going to mention it once, because we're not here to sell our product. Uh, we're here to de deliver information to you, but it's Unleash your rock star identity, unleashyourrockstaridentity.com. If you go to that page, go down to the bottom, put the coupon code in, AWeber, you will get it for the same price that she did, $97, not the $297 that's there. Right, okay? $200. So that's off. all you have to do. Yep. Um, we really appreciate the time that you have spent coming out here in honoring us, in honoring AWeber for their space. Um, they told us this was the largest crowd that had signed up for anything that they've ever had. It looks like the largest one because almost everybody seems to be here from the count that I have, which is very, very nice. We really appreciate it. Thank you very much. We are going to take some questions. So that's the end of the video section that we'll do. Thank you very much for that. Questions. Questions here.